Julius, it's been a while since we had uh, an analog mixing console through the room. Yeah, last of breed really. Uh, in a time when digital is prevailing, um, there'll always be the need for a traditional format console. This one's got some digital interfacing, James. It does, Julius. It's got um, it's got what I like to refer as the the slot option at the back, and there's a couple of different cards you can get for it. Um, there's an analog card which I don't think is actually very interesting. It sort of just gives you direct outs on multi pins and various insert points and stuff. And uh, I think the digital card is actually the one that's going to make this uh, an interesting proposition to most people because indeed without it, it really is just uh, a a relatively expensive analog console. Uh -huh. but the However, it's pitched at studio. Yeah, it, it really is. And, and this is a GSR24M, so what it's actually got, all these faders are actually motorized. So you can tie this into your DAW uh, along with the transport control. Um, and Snap you can, scenes. Yeah, well, you can use it. You can have fader automation. You can use it as a control surface. You've got transport control. And where it gets really quite, pretty cool is, is you've got all these various routing options for each channel. So you can take a channel's feed from the analog input. You can route that out via the digital, which is over Firewire. Um, there's also, I think, ADAT output as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can return that at various points within the channel strip. So, you know, pre-EQ or post-fade or whatever you want to do. So that's pretty cool. You can also use the, uh, the solo keys as select buttons. How do you interface it with a DAW? Uh, okay, well, the, the interface is done as, as basically three blocks of eight as far as the fader control goes. And that's two-way interface. The transport control is one way only, so okay. you, you don't actually get feedback from the workstation back into these keys. The keys do light up, mm -hmm. um, but really the, they're still working on getting the, uh, right. the, um, the bi-directional feedback. And what's two valve pre's, yeah? Yeah, you've got these two. It's, it's a 24-channel <laughs> console, but mm -hmm. you've also got, um, you know, the fairly standard sort of Allen and Heath couple of stereo channels and a couple of extra stereo inputs and the layout on that's always been a bit confusing to me but you've got these valve channels and they're, they're basically cut down short form channels so they don't really have uh, a whole lot in the way of facility to bust them got, out to auxiliaries and stuff. But they've got real they, valves. But they do have <coughs> real valves. Um, with real LED backlighting. With real LED illumination, yeah. As you do. Um, well, it, it saves on electricity, I guess. Hmm. Um, there's, there's a, an LED to tell you how much additional drive you're adding. And that, that of course, is going to give you that sort of non-linear analog response characteristic of a vacuum tube, which mm. you don't necessarily get out of something like an op amp. OK, so summary, um, it ain't cheap. It's not cheap. And look, without the card, I, I don't really see it as being you know, sort of a huge player. But with the card, it, it, it really does give you a lot of lot of options, and you can you can basically go through and record in digital, but then mix it on a desk that, mm. that is analog and feels analog. You know? okay. and, it, and it feels quite nice. The build quality on it feels pretty good. Um, it's quite heavy, so it's not going to slide all over the desk the way that some of the smaller controllers do as well. Um, I do like that. I, I'm not so keen on the when you assign a channel in and out of the, the left right bus, you get a little bit of a pop through the actual bus. Really? Yeah. So in that in that instance, I'd be probably reluctant to to bounce it into a live situation if I was likely to need to do lots of on the fly assignments and things. But which you wouldn't tend to do in a studio. You wouldn't tend to do really, that. It's not really. It's not really during a mix. No. Like no, oh, never. I know. Let's reassign this to the drum submaster. Like why would you do that? You would. It's already there. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Anyway, so it's there already go. there. This is it. The GSR 24M. There's it's a place here. in the market for everybody. Indeed. There's a dance for every girl at the ball. <laughs>